The thyroid gland is a butterfly-shaped endocrine gland with an average weight of 25 to 30 grams and located anterior and inferior to the larynx. It produces two types of hormones, the iodine-containing hormones triiodothyronine or T3, thyroxine or T4, and calcitonin. The parathyroid glands consist of four small ovoid glands that weigh 30 milligrams each and are located on the posterior surface of the thyroid gland. They're responsible for secreting parathyroid hormone, or PTH for short. Let's first look at the thyroid gland, which has a thin capsule of connective tissue surrounding it that can be seen in this low-power image, mostly on the right side. The connective tissue extends inward along with blood vessels, lymphatics, and nerves, although there aren't any nerves clearly visible in this image. The thyroid gland is unique because it's the only endocrine gland that stores its inactive hormones extracellularly in follicles. The follicles can vary in size quite a lot, from 50 to 500 micrometers. Each follicle is filled with a gel-like mass called colloid, which stains dark pink with H&E. The colloid consists mostly of thyroglobulin and thyroid hormones that are bound to the colloid. We can see that some follicles have colloid with a scalloped pale edge. That's where the follicle has extracted some of the stored colloid in preparation for hormone activation and secretion. On the other hand, the clear space around the colloid is just an artifact that was caused by the colloid shrinking in comparison to the follicular wall. The follicular epithelium is made of a single layer of simple cuboidal cells with round central nuclei and dark chromatin. These cells are responsible for secreting thyroid hormones when needed. The nuclear feature of these cells are particularly important because they're the main feature looked at when diagnosing papillary thyroid carcinoma. In papillary thyroid carcinoma, the nuclei will be large and irregular with light chromatin, similar to this image, which has pale intranuclear inclusions. Still at 40x magnification, this image has an example of a parafollicular cell, also called a C cell, near the center. These pale stained cells have a granular cytoplasm and are responsible for secreting calcitonin. They're larger than follicular cells, but there are fewer of them. They can usually be found in the periphery within the follicular lining or in the interstitial space between follicles. Because they don't absorb a lot of the H&E stain, they can be difficult to identify. Moving on to the parathyroid glands. This low magnification image shows how different the tissue looks even at first glance, but the parathyroid does have its own thin fibrous capsule that also extends inward, carrying nerves, lymphatics, and blood vessels, although the nerves and lymphatics are not easily seen in this image. The fibrous connective tissue in the parathyroid also forms irregular lobules, up to 40% of the normal parathyroid gland tissue is composed of adipose tissue. Zooming in closer to a different area of the parathyroid, we can see a lot of the glandular cells. The glandular cells are made of mainly two types of cells, the chief or principal cells and the oxyphil cells. The majority of the parathyroid cells are chief cells, which are smaller in size, have a dark, round, and central nucleus, and a pale cytoplasm. These are cells responsible for secreting PTH. If the cytoplasm looks darker, it's because of an increase in rough endoplasmic reticulum, or RER, which stains strongly and is a sign that the cell is actively secreting PTH. The oxyphil cells are the much larger cells that also have dark nuclei, but in addition, have a very eosinophilic cytoplasm because of their higher content of mitochondria. These cells don't secrete PTH, and they actually increase in number overall with age. Adipocytes can also be seen within the parathyroid in this image, and they increase in number with age as well. All right, as a quick recap, the thyroid is unique because it stores inactive hormones extracellularly in colloid follicles that stain pink with H&E. The follicular epithelial cells are simple cuboidal cells and are responsible for secreting T3 and T4 when needed. 
The parafollicular cells, or C cells, secrete calcitonin and have a larger, pale cytoplasm. The parathyroid consists mostly of glandular chief cells that have round central nuclei and a small pale cytoplasm. These are the only cells that secrete PTH. The oxyphil cells are noticeably bigger due to their larger eosinophilic cytoplasm. Helping current and future clinicians focus, learn, retain, and thrive. Learn more.